is Chappy Peter and Chappy Chris bringing you another word of encouragement from the Outback Chapel. As a child, did you ever have a special place to hide? The old beds were high enough to hide underneath, weren't they Chappy? They were. Maybe you had a tree house or what we call in Australia a cubby house. And every child should have one Chappy. Maybe your hiding place was between mum and dad under the blankets during a thunderstorm. During World War II, the Ten Boom family had a hiding place in their home where they concealed folks, managed to successfully rescue many innocent people in enemy-occupied Holland. Recently, Chappie Chris and I visited a national park on the Sunshine Coast. Come for a run and see what we found. It's an old disused railway tunnel, inside which we soon found built-in hiding places. Places of safety, if one was walking through and a train was heard approaching. One could imagine the value of those little alcoves in the wall based some distance apart on opposite sides, providing excellent places of safety. The psalmist, David the shepherd boy, had a spiritual hiding place as well as some safe physical retreats, including caves, to hide from the angry and jealous King Saul. More importantly, he had a refuge, as we can have too, a safe place to which he could go and spiritually dwell finding relief, refreshment and safety from threats of violence, despair, homelessness, rejection and depression. We read, and I quote, You are my hiding place, you protect me from trouble. We also read, We are kept by the power of God through faith. An old saying goes like this, and I quote, They are always well kept whom God keeps. As children travelling by steam trains through tunnels, it was always a relief getting out into the daylight. It certainly was. Christians never know when tunnels come on their journey of faith. It's a comfort to have a hiding place while in the tunnel, and certainly it will be a relief eventually seeing the light at the end and emerging into that light. Yes. We know that our Lord, who is our hiding place, is also the light of the world, Chappy, and our light. We can only imagine the light and beauty there will be when we go through that final tunnel which the psalmist refers to as the valley of the shadow of death. We go through to a place where there is no more dark tunnels of pain, loneliness, poor health, disability or whatever our particular situation may be at the time. Always remember that tunnels are things we pass through like storms. We can focus less on the darkness, discomfort and pain or whatever comes our way and focus on being content in our hiding place until we emerge into that light at the end of the tunnel. We do not carry our burden alone. We can trust God's promises, bring our anxieties and needs to Him and find peace. Yes, Paul in the Bible learned contentment in many dark tunnels. He said, and I quote, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. He continues, if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Jesus. Great promises. Whatever dark passage you are going through, always be assured there's a hiding place in the dark and better days as well to take refuge, meet with your Lord and find the comfort, renewed sense of vision, purpose and the hope you need to carry on. And now a prayer. Lord, thank you that you are my hiding place. Thank you that I can hide in you, not just in the tunnels of dark times, but on the sunny days as well. Help me to keep my eye on the end of the tunnel and to, to endure till then. Well, that's all, folks. Goodbye. Yes, cheerio. Many blessings. Stay tuned for On a Lighter Note. <laughs>